This is Grace Garden, where I live. I just thought I'd share a little bit with you. It's been my home. For over 25 years. <laughs> I'm getting over pneumonia which lasted way too long because I refused to get medical help because I don't have insurance. So this is really my first venture out this year and it's going on the second week of April. You see a little bit of my dog's hair here. Try to keep the squirrels and groundhogs and rabbits from eating my crocus and the tulips that I have in here. Obviously, we've got a little bit of damage from hungry varmints. have a teenage son who's recently taken to enjoying the warm spring weather. He built this little fire pit for his friends. And this is my pond which needs some work. There are fish in there, basically to keep the mosquitoes at bay. And a waterfall. Back in this corner, quite a few trees. And I like to hang up my hammock here in this shady nook. It's nice when it's hot. But right now the hammock's away because we just came through a pretty rough Pennsylvania winter. This tree here is a cherry tree, ornamental cherry, no fruit. And it's just getting ready to show its color. <laughs> Quite a bit of spring cleanup is needed here, obviously. And now that I'm hopefully back on my feet, after two months of being sick. And tired, exhausted, because pneumonia reduces your oxygen levels and makes you very tired. Let's see how long it takes me to whip this place into the garden that I know it is. I was out yesterday and took a few minutes to divide up this Virginia Bluebells plant, Mertensia, which I've had for several years. <laughs> so I chopped it in half 
and move the other half over to there. So now, except for the weed in the middle, which I sprayed, because it's a really hard to eradicate weed. Um, now I have these two plants that I'm encouraging to spread here. This is the east side of the house, so it gets morning sun, which the Virginia bluebells really like. Here's another pretty spot to share with you some mini narcissus and fragrant hyacinths and my favorite variety of Dutch master daffodils. And this is here at the front entrance to my house property. There's my front door. And this little arbor that I got from my sister's house in South Carolina in September when we were going to Florida. We stopped at her house and she was moving the next day to Texas. So I took this as a souvenir of my sister's house where and we drove on to Florida from her house with this tied to the roof racks and drove all around Florida for a week um, and Disney World stayed at the Polynesian Village with this tied to the roof racks of my car and then all the way back home to Pennsylvania from there um, and there it is pansies not even really planted they're still in the pot I just stuck them in here you should keep your pansies deadheaded they'll help them keep blooming more in my bird bath from a dear friend mr. Schaefer and these are Stelladoro daylilies in both of these little pots here. <laughs>